as, as, the, as the lines between all these different platforms, you know, sort of melt, and, and you sort of, you see content on different devices, mobile versus, you know, you know, broadcast versus area. How do you guys think about that from a policy perspective? Yeah, I think it's, it's uh, stay focused on the infrastructure, again, you know, high speed, high capacity, wired and wireless networks to everyone. Uh, think. But is that uh, not happening, though? Uh, it is happening. It is? It is happening. Well, rural areas? Uh, sorry? The rural areas are getting the same? Rural areas are getting the same. Uh, 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 you know, we, right now, 93% uh, of the U.S., uh, partly because of a cable infrastructure that's very widely built out, has access to broadband. And in the last couple of years, we transformed a rural telephone service to a rural broadband service that in the next few years will get broadband everywhere. I'm worried about that. I'm more worried about whether we're moving fast enough as a country to go from thinking in megabit terms to gigabit terms yeah. when it comes to uh, wired connectivity. That's the big issue there, and the things that uh, uh, that Google was doing with Google Fiber to really push the needle uh, on that, uh, uh, and the competitive response that we're starting to see now from uh, the cable industry and the telcos is good. And on the wireless side, I think the biggest issue is that the demand from our devices on spectrum is dramatically exceeding the supply of spectrum. So just a little data point to give people a sense of this. So this device puts a demand on spectrum as compared to the feature phone that you had before it. It's not 10% more or 50% more or 100% more, but it's 25x, it's 25 times more. Right. And if you have a tablet on our mobile system, uh, it's 150 times more. So we have a lot more work to do to free up spectrum for these devices, to think about new platforms for innovation like unlicensed uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, so I think those are central issues. Competition, as I mentioned, is central. Competition at you know, uh, every place between an innovator and a consumer. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I said, the openness of the internet. I think we're in a good place now in terms of having rules of the road that work for both internet entrepreneurs uh, and that are also driving investment in networks. But I think we'll constantly have to wrestle with issues. And When you say we're in a good place now, do you feel like that's gonna, that's the, sort of the path is clear for, for that, or you, do you worry about that? Uh, I, think we open have, internet. I think we have rules on the, uh, 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 rules of the road on the books that are working. Yeah. Uh, that we put them in place three years ago, and yep. if you measure them by have we seen an increase in private investment and innovation at both the edge and the networks? We're seeing it in the US and we're seeing it faster than any other country in the world. The biggest single threat to it right now is that one company uh, is challenging uh, those rules and uh, court cases are court cases. So I am worried, I think we'll win the case, but it's not 100% and we have, we're in a period of uh, reasonable certainty and predictability around the rules of the road uh, and um, a court decision here could throw it all open. It would be in a, an unfortunate time for that to happen. Europe and a lot of other countries yeah. are looking at the U.S. and saying, hey, in the U.S., they're kind of figuring it out. They have rules that support uh, innovative new internet companies. They're seeing investment in networks. They're freeing up spectrum for licensed and unlicensed use. Uh, so this is one where the risk is uh, coming, I think, not from government, but from unnecessary uh, litigation. Yeah, that's obviously, it's obviously hugely important to us. I mean, when we think about the characteristics that make Twitter, Twitter, it's, you know, public, conversational, but most of all, real time. And to the extent, you know, we get turned upside down and, you know, uh, pockets get shaken for, to, to you know, if you want to go fast, it's going to cost you this much extra. That's a problem. So